Hey, what is up, you guys? Today I am gonna be teaching you how I did this cool abstract acrylic uh, drawing. Very easy. If you wanna know how to how to do this one too, just check out my last video on doing art. You're gonna find it there. Okay, so first we start with a blank canvas, like always, and then what we're gonna do is put the paint, uh, the paint lay it there so that we can put it in the background so that we can later put uh, tape and then spray paint it it's super easy to do it's it's very fun too so yeah uh, just to let you guys know uh, Later on this video, I am gonna switch my entire background because I didn't like it. So this is basically how I started it, but then I changed my idea. And then I decided to do something else because this was not working, it was really ugly and basic. So yeah, I, I switched the whole thing, I didn't like it, it was so ugly. But if you wanna follow this tutorial from now, feel free if you do like what I did there but I, I didn't really like it and that's because I used a lot of water and uh, my entire painting was dripping and it was horrible so yeah also I didn't like the combination of colors they were a little bit too dark for my yeah it was too dark I didn't like it my taste it's a little bit you know what I'm saying? I didn't really like this. So here I'm just putting more and more for nothing because later in that video I <laughs> didn't do anything with it. I just literally made something else. So yeah. Okay, so this is what the actual uh, first painting ended up looking like. It was really bad and ugly. I didn't really like it, so... But then, I decided to go with more of a pure uh, paint, uh, acrylic paintings, uh, acrylic paint. And this is where, I, where I'm getting right now. It looks super cool. You're gonna find out later. So here I'm just putting more paint uh, because I don't really like something that's like, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't really like to see strokes of paint, you know what I'm saying, like, the stroke. I like everything really smooth and stuff, but yeah, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just putting or mixing a lot of colors that go well together. And then I'm putting red. I think this is a very cool combination uh, because the primary colors like blue, red, and uh, yellow are look super cool. And I think they go well together. And it looked pretty good, pretty cool in my opinion. That's it. But if you want to try something else with some other colors, just feel free to do that. I am not judging. Also, if you do. Um, if you do make uh, uh, paintings like this, just send me it or uh, link down there or just comment down there um, that you filmed it and I'll probably check it out on your channel because I really like this kind of videos, it's pretty cool. So I'm putting more, uh, more yellow because I didn't really like how you can see the the background still and that's what I'm doing right now I'm going with the yellow 
See, these colors are super bright and that's what I love them. They're all cool. And I think that's about it. That's how it almost ends, the background. And then the next step will be uh, letting it dry. I'll let it dry for two hours, but if you feel unsure or something like that, you can definitely leave it for like five or six hours, or just wait till the other day or something like that. Or just don't do it in the same day. Just take a break. But yeah, that's what I did. I, I left it there for two hours and it dried pretty cool, so yeah. Then I put in a little bit of green, as you can see there. I am really proud of this uh, of this part because um, I think I did a good job though. <clears throat> okay, so this is the tapey part. This part took me really long time. <laughs> it's funny because I'm dumb, but yeah. But once I got the hang of it, um, I did it in like 10 minutes. So as you can see, I'm doing like a little model or um, yeah, like a little yeah, like a little model so that I can spray paint it. And when, once I take the tape off, uh, the parts that the tape were on, they would have acrylic painting. But then once I spray spray paint it, then it would have um, that um, spray. Spray paint, yeah. <laughs> also, just to clarify, I bought uh, the metallic gold spray paint, which you can get at Walmart for like three bucks. It is really cheap and it's very useful. Uh, I I I used it in this um, in this video, but I still got a bunch of uh, spray paint for like a year or so <laughs> because I don't really use that much. But yeah, you can go to Walmart and buy it for three bucks. It's very um, bright. You see what I'm talking about later. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just putting more uh, tape on top of it. So you can see here, I'm struggling a lot. <coughs> okay, I think this is the hardest part doing those little models. Uh, but then later you're gonna see that it's way easier because uh, you don't have to put like tape together. You, know, you see what I'm talking about? It's just individual. See this part? I'm just putting like a little square, but it's attached to the little design I was doing. So, yeah, this design I'm doing right now it's kind of hard. Uh, when it comes to the taping part but you're gonna see how it turns out and I think it was worth it so here I took uh, I just uh, just I just put a, a, a square and then I, there I'm doing like a bigger square and then if I can remember later I put a triangle on top of it right now you can't see like uh, the whole thing very well but later when I take it off you're gonna see that the model shows better. So here I'm just making sure everything is well. Okay, so this is the spray paint I was talking about. I just spray painted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> spray painted the whole thing. Yep, I got it. But uh, just to let you guys know, Just to let you guys know, um, I don't think you should do this at, uh, inside of your house because uh, spray paint, spray paint, it's very easy to get uh, all over the place because the particles are so small and then the spray paint uh, has uh, compressed air in inside of it. So I tried inside of my house first, but then my entire floor got uh, covered with spray paint particles. So 
so yeah I wouldn't recommend doing it inside and yeah that's the best I can tell you as you can see the grass is already uh, stained with spray paint and I have to put a tissue on the other side of my clutch or my paint or my canvas because I didn't want my other paint to my other paint to get covered with spray paint. So I think this is one of the most satisfying parts ever. I'm just gonna yeah, it's very satisfying to see this. As you can see my models are coming out pretty neat. They're awesome for me. I, I think they're awesome. I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of myself so also, these were the hardest thing to do. They were hard, I just gotta tell you that. But as you can see, it was worth it. It comes out very easy, <laughs> as you can see. Look at that. Okay, that's just the square I was talking about. That's the other square, and that's the little promise. And that's the square and the square. And then this design, it was, it was very satisfying to take this off. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, this is what I got out of it. It was pretty cool. Uh, as you can see by my hands, I made a mess in there. <laughs> okay, so I also gonna take this part because. I, as you can see, the paint got uh, underneath the tape, and uh, I gotta fix that. Later on this video, you're gonna find out what I did, and I'm gonna explain you what I did and why I did it. So you see, the tape won't come up. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and as you can see, my other side of the paint of the painting of the canvas got stained with spray paint even though I didn't even spray paint it that part and that's what I was talking about it's because the particles are super easy to move around so here what I did was I put two tapes and then in the middle of the tapes I, I left a little space and then I painted with blue acrylic and that blue and that blue acrylic, uh, oh my gosh, what's going on with my tongue? And that blue acrylic uh, lifts this effect of, uh, of a line, like really straight line. So you can see it wasn't perfect, but uh, that's the best I could do. And I did it again with a red line. And it was pretty cool. I think it, it reminds me of Gucci. I don't know why. I don't know if you guys know Gucci, the, the, the brand, but yeah. This is what I got. I'm planning on putting it on my bathroom or I don't know if I will sell it, but yeah. Here I'm just channeling it with uh, my phone. And as you can see, it's very beautiful because it reflects light. Thank you for watching, guys.